The Magic School Bus Rides Again, Sink or Swim. Chapter six. Wanda turned to her classmates. It's a great big ocean out there and Becca is one tiny fish, Wanda said. I'm not sure why she didn't stay inside the safe house we built, but we need to find her. I know she still needs our help. Who's with me? Wanda waited for a show of hands, but no one was paying attention to her. They were all watching Liz limbo on the beach. There they are limboing. <laughs> Becca needs our help, Wanda said again. The other students grooved to a tropical leak as Liz slithered underneath the limbo bar. I'm sure Becca's fine, Wanda, Keisha said. Plus, she might go back to her new house, Joyty pointed out. And the coral reef is there if she needs it, added Dorothy Ann. Grab a coconut soda, Wanda, Ralphie said. It's time to have some fun. Here he is with a coconut soda. <laughs> Arnold pointed to his beeping watch. And it's time to reapply our sunscreen, he said. Wanda tried to have fun. She cheered as Liz won the limbo contest by a tail, but she couldn't stop thinking about Becca. I'll just have to find Becca all by myself, Wanda said as she walked toward the sea, unless Wanda walked over to her teacher. Miss Frizzle, can you help me find Becca Blue? Miss Frizzle nodded. Okay, she said, let's see what we can do. Wanda smiled. Liz, please keep an eye on the class, Miss Frizzle called. We've got a fish to find. Miss Frizzle and Wanda hurried aboard the bus. It rolled straight to the shoreline, then dove deep down into the ocean. Wanda looked out a window to search the water. There were so many fish in the sea. How could she ever find Becca? Suddenly, Wanda spotted a tiny yellow and blue striped snapper darting around the underwater rock. Becca Blue. There she is, Miss Frizzle, Wanda called. Wanda climbed into her fishmobile. Don't worry, Becca, she called. Here I come. Wanda zoomed over to Becca. I missed you, little scaly buddy. Becca hovered above the seaweed. Then she swam away again. Hey, wait up, Wanda called. Wanda chased after her friend. Just as she caught up, Becca darted off in a different direction. Becca is a tough to fish to follow, Wanda thought. I never know where she is going to go next. Just then, a bright blue button on Wanda's control panel began to blink. What's that? When Wanda wondered. There was only one way to find out. She gave the button a tap and... Swimmer sense activated, an electronic voice reported. Swimmer what? Wanda reported. A balloon lit up inside Wanda's fishmobile. Wanda held on tight and her fishmobile made a sharp drop. Then it rose up until it steadied itself in the water. Now at optimum swimming depth, the voice reported. Whoa, Wanda exclaimed. That balloon thingy must control how deep I am. Wanda saw a picture of her fishmobile on her monitor. Lines were lighting up on each side from gills to tail. The lines on my fishmobile seemed to be reacting to something in the water around me, Wanda said. Only, why? Friendly fish now approaching, said the electronic voice. The fish was Becca. She was swimming right next to Wanda. Oh, that's why those lines light up. Hi, Becca. The electronic voice spoke again. Fish link, now engaged. Wanda's fishmobile began to swim up and down with Becca. Wherever Becca went, Wanda went too. They were completely in sync. Cool. Miss Frizzle, Wanda called into her microphone. I'm actually synced up to Becca. That line on Becca's side does that too. You got it, Wanda, Miss Frizzle replied. You're expert synchronized swimmers. 
Wanda was having so much fun that she almost missed the huge dark shadow coming up from below. Uh-oh, said Wanda. Maybe that's just another school of fish. As the dark shape got closer, Wanda realized it could only be one thing. It was not hundreds of tiny fish sharking, swimming together. It was the shark, Wanda shouted. That's the end of chapter six. But I think we can read chapter seven too. Chapter seven, snap to it. Is there a problem, Wanda? Miss Frizzle's voice asked over the microphone. Are you in trouble? Nothing I can't handle, said Wanda. I'll distract the shark to turn it away from Becca. Then I'll hide while Becca escapes. Okay, said Miss Frizzle, be careful. Wanda yanked the joystick, pushing the fish mobile forward. Becca swam forward too, in the same direction as Wanda. No, Becca, Wanda said, you go the other way. But Becca kept following Wanda's fish mobile. Becca, swim! Suddenly, Wanda realized the problem. The fish link was still on. She pushed the blinking button again, and the depth meter on her fish mobile went dark. The line faded from its side. Fish link disengaged, the electronic voice reported. Now go, Becca, go! shouted Wanda. While Becca swam off, Wanda headed for a hiding place under some rocks. Wanda headed for a hiding... Oh, she expected the shark to follow her, but instead it followed Becca. Oh no, Wanda groaned. Just then, an enormous group of blue and yellow stripers appeared. They looked just like Becca. Those must be her school friends, Wanda said. All together, they look like one huge creature. The giant shimmering ball of fish split into two. The shark was confused. It swam after one half of the group first, then it tried to chase the other. Nice one, Wanda laughed. Now he doesn't know what to chase. The shark dove toward the middle of the schools. Hundreds of fish shot off in different directions. Find your lunch somewhere else, shouted Wanda. But the shark tried again. This time, it was headed directly for Wanda. And that's the end of chapter seven. And I thought we could do it.